praise the name of Jesus. I'm so excited for the next month. I'm so excited, people of God, for this next month, believing that the Lord God is preparing this place. The Miriam's ministry, which is uh, led by my sister-in-law, Gina. Praise God. The dance, the choir. We are going to start, people of God, the extravagant worship. More of what we experience next month. And for those who have this talent to dance, people of God, no matter kung ano imo edad, hallelujah, may edad ka man o kung wala ka edad, hallelujah, pwede ikaw makaparegistered, amen, amen. Let us fill this place, people of God, with a worshiper. Let us fill this place, people of God, hallelujah, with the true worshipers of the Lord. Amen, amen. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Believing that the Lord God is preparing wondrous things for those who loved Him. Extravagant and uncommon opportunity. Let us do a short recap before we proceed, people of God, to the next month. With this month is a month of vision casting. The 2022, a 2023 is a year of extravagant and uncommon opportunities. And praise God for that. If you still remember, people of God, that this month of January... Is a month of windows of opportunity. Many windows, people of God, in book sandera sa ginoo, but we have to discern the right window. All windows, people of God, are open. Windows for the month of January, February, March, April, up to the last month of this year, December. All windows are open. But make sure you discern, people of God, the right window. I heard the message, people of God, this morning that says, you are doing things which is also aligned and, and aligned, hallelujah, sa will sa ginoo sa imo. But you are doing things which is aligned to the will of God but not a perfect time. Not a perfect timing. Timing is very important. So in every second of your life, heaven is opening windows of opportunity for you to see His favor and glory. Your success and destiny are defined by how you perceive on how you respond to these windows of opportunity. The Lord is telling us, reminding us, don't look down yourself. See the challenges, feel the fear, but do not embrace it. Run away from your doubts. Trust Him more and see yourself succeed. Amen. Lantawon ta perming aton kaugalingon nga nagdaog kita sa ngalan sa ginoo. And if you still remember, people of God, the second month, which is a month of February, it is a month of overflowing substance. Kung lantawo niya itun, ang meaning sa sininga word na substance, it means stable. In the other words, people of God, in the other synonyms of this meaning, which is stable, it means people of God, fortune, riches, hallelujah, prosperity, it's money, it's capital, your assets, your property, your estates, your positions. You see people of the Lord when the Lord God blesses you, Tanan dira, ngagin preparar sa ginoo sa imo ihatag ya. It's overflowing. And no one, no one, hallelujah, no one can fathom the faithfulness of God to those who love Him. When He lavishes them with blessing, He will not stop even it is already overflowing. Biskan nagaawas na ang imo papakamaayo, hindi kagidya paguntatan sa ginoo. Amen. Kay atong matutom sa ginoo, labaw pa nga matutom ang ginoo sa iya. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Rabagaya sikata. Maybe you wonder, people of God, why there is PL 2023. Because this word, people of God, spoken by the Lord to me when I was inside the chamber last uh, second week of, of December. And I share this to you because I want you, people of God, to embrace also the message what the, of, of the Lord given to me personally. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the Lord says... The prophecy for the month of February, it says, Don't be afraid to face your tomorrow, for I am holding your hands. A glorious and glamorous future is waiting for you. See to the one seated beside you, fantastic future is waiting for you. It is a fantastic future. New beginnings, new morning, new opportunity, new strategies and insights. New provisions, new wisdom and understanding, new oil, new encounter in my presence, in your glory are about to pour out on you, say yes, God. I am now standing at the entrance of your heart, your life decision and your heart's desire. 
if you allow me to come in, then I will come and sit with you. And I will show you the master plan of Kevin towards your calling and towards your life purpose. Say yes, the Lord. I say to you, if you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. Listen and be quick to obey. For those who are obedient and faithful will receive and enjoy favor and earthly rewards from the Father. But for those who are coward and unfaithful will, will suffer regrets. The timeline of Kevin for you to represent my excellently here on earth is now. Be a part of the end times move of the Holy Spirit while the door is open for you, say yes, God. It is the Lord who gave us people of God the anointing to excel. You are not an ordinary creation, Mama Jules. The Lord God has empowered you by His Spirit, with His Spirit. It is the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding for you to see that you are enjoying, naga enjoy ikaw, sang overflowing substance sa ginoo. Tutuod gidya ang pulong sang Diyos naga siling, nga idi kapigado, manggaranon ka gidya. Ang demonyo lang na iya nagahambal nga pigado ikaw. Kay kung anong ginpatihan mo, kagin panumdo mo, amun ang matabo sa imo. Kag amon ang rason kun nga agi na injikan kita permisang panulay nga pigado wala kwarta wala kwarta utod kung singko ang unod sang bulsa mo kwarta na giyapon Amen kwarta ina giyapon kung may pulong ikaw sa Ginoo manggaranon ka kay ang tawo hindi mabugi sa tinapay lang gid nga ginakaon niya nagatambok ang lawas siya naganiwang ang iya kalag nagabalati anon siya Pero ang tawo nga nagasalig dira sa Ginoo, bulahan. Amen. Gani kung nagdako ikaw, kag ginahambalan ikaw sang iban, nga medyo-medyo nagdako ikaw, praise the Lord, bulahan ikaw. Amen. Amo na ko magambal iban nga dubula-bula na ang lawas mo. Praise God, bulahan ikaw. Kay bulahan ang tawo nga nagasalig sa Ginoo. Nga ang nagbulabula ang lawas kay puno sang provision sang Dios. Kay ang tawo nga masinadyahon puno mga kauturan sang manami kag maayong lawas gani bulahan. Pero ang tawo nga masinulubon nagaasas. Amen. Hallelujah. Dalayawon gid ang Ginoo. Gani gid panumdom kita mga kauturan sa Ginoo nga ang Dios amo ang kusog kag kabakos sang aton nga kabugi and be a part of this end times move. Don't only people of God as spectator. Amen. But be a part. Participate yourself people of God in this end time move of the Holy Spirit. See yourself, people of God, not only seated, hallelujah, in that chair, hallelujah, waiting for Jesus' ring seven times. In Jesus' name, amen. Mapungko, mapauli, magpamati. But the same people of God, involve yourself in the ministry because the Lord God says, I will not forget your faithfulness. Hindi kisang Diyos paglipatan ang tao nga matutom dira sa iya. Amen. Hallelujah! Kay bulahan ang tawo nga nagasalig sa Ginoo. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 23, people of God, to support the, year, the, the months of overflowing substance. When the Lord says, then He will give you rain to the seed with which you sow the ground and breed and bread grain from the produce of the ground and it will be rich and plentiful. And that day your livestock will gaze in large and groomy pastures. Hallelujah. Roomy pastures. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let us, people of God, move on to the March, month of March. What is the preparation of the Lord for the coming March? If January, people of God, is the window of opportunity, if February, people of God, is the overflowing substance, then the Lord God will give you a proof to your faith. Amen. Because faith without evidence is fake. Ang pagtuo nga wala ebidensya, piki. Ang Christian no nga wala pagbago, piki man. Amen. Hallelujah. Rabagama sikata. Hallelujah. Ang tawo nga ginhimo lang isang tawo, robot. Piki. Pero ang tawo nga ginhimo sa Ginoo, kag nagpangalagdan, kag nagtuo sa Ginoo, tuod-tuod. 
Amen. Proof of your faith. Faith is not an emotion. Habalada ng tupad mo, ang pagtuo, hindi na iya pa emotion. Amen. Faith is not an emotion. It is a decision to act and to believe that everything that is written in the Word of God is true and has life. Ang tanan nga nasulat sa pulong sa ginoo, tuod na. Pero nga wala, nagtuod sa aton kabuhi, kaya wala na itong ginpatihan. John 14, 14, it says that everything, people of God, we ask in the Lord and believe, He will do it. Amen. He will do it. The Lord God is not a man who tell a lie. He is not a man who changes his mind. What is true is true to him. When he says amen, it is amen. When he says yes, it is yes. And the words, people of God, nga nasulat sa Biblia, ginputos ina sang kabuhi. Ginputos ina sang dugo ni Cristo Jesus. Ang panulay wala na hadlok sa imo nami nami nga English. Ang panulay wala na hadlok sa nami nami ni mo nga pagconstruct sa mga sentences. Ang panulay wala na hadlok kung ano ka ka fluent sang imo nga paghambal. Ang panulay na hadlok kung gamiton mo na ang pulong sa ginoo. Kaya ang pulong sa ginoo na putos sang dugo ni Cristo Jesus. Amen. Ang pulong sa ginoo. That's why people of God we says in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ang panulay hindi magapamati in the name of Lianet. Anong gahom ko? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sa ngala ni Cristo Jesus nga gintuuhan nimo. So in months of Mars people of God, we have hallelujah. We need to consider people of God this word because the Lord God will give us an evidence. The Lord God will give us a proof that we have faith in the Lord. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 it says without faith it is impossible to please God. Kung wala ikaw pagtuo, tamaan ka ka imposible na mapalipay ni mo ang ginoo. Mapalipay mo lang ang Diyos kung may pagtuo ka. Kung may pagtuo ka, nagasalig ka. Kung may pagsalig ka, may pagpakamaayo ka. Tanan nga pagpakamaayo mga kauturan, nagahalin sa imo pagsalig. Ang imo pagsalig, nagahalin sa imo pagtuo. Kag ang imo pagtuo, nagahalin sa pulong sang Diyos. Kay hamba sa pulong sa ginoo, faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. It is repeated twice, people of God. Ang pagtuo, nagahalin sa pag pagpamati kag sa pagpamati sa pulong sa Ginoo ang pulong sang Dios gamha, gamhanan kag makahimo ini sa mga dalagko nga butang sa aton kabuhi gani to okay ang Dios indi ang imo kaugalingon oh! rabagama sikata rabagama sikata hallelujah the prophecies people of God says hallelujah the prophecy says, Now in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1, to support people of God this, this, this theme na to, the proof of faith, it says, Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you have no money, come. Mamaladang imo nga, nga tupad, la ka kwarta, upod ka karun sa akon, nyagahan. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Woo! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you have no money. Come. Buy grain and eat. Come. Buy wine and milk. Without money and without cause. Simply accept it as a gift from God Almighty Jesus. Amen. Wala ka kwarta. Hambal niya. Wala ka kwarta. Nauhaw ka. Hallelujah. Dali. Bakal ikaw tubig. Nga wala sang bili. You know, people of God, kung ikaw nagganto dito, kang nagbakal, kag somebody is paying sang imo nga ginbakal, gakubakuba dugan mo pa'y. Amen? Gakubakuba dugan mo pa'y. Hallelujah! And, and that is my experience. So God be all the glory. Last month, ada ko na sa dalo, maging bakal ako. And then sometimes nagabayad na ko sang ako nga ginbakal. The Lord God, Ginputangan niya sa grabe nga impresyon ng ako niya tagipusoon na bayaran ko ang ginbakal sa manex nga mabayad. Sa likod ko, bayaran ko. Sige, sige, no. Bayari ang iya nga ginbakal. Hallelujah. 
So gina isip ka samtang gina samtang wala ko kakilala sa tong ano kay ginakita ko nga gina ginaano niya ginatipo niya ang iyang kwarta kag nakita ko man nga dumay bulto pag idang nga gin bakal hallelujah tapos ginalantaw ko samtang samtang nga gina gina, gina ano nga gina punch ang ako nga, nga ano nga gin, gin bakal ginalantaw ko abi mo ko ano pila ay handbili na sang iya gin bakal man gina total ko na sa ako na una <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not easy, right? It's not easy. Hallelujah. And then tingala sila, samtang ginaputos na, samtang ginaputos ng akon, iya naman na ginapunch. Wala ko doon nagalantaw sa ginaputos akon, ginalantaw ko ang iya ginapunch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. And the impression people of God is so strong. The impression is so strong. So what I did, ginbayran ko yung iya nga ginbakal. Ginbayran ko yan. Nasyak ang cashier. Nasyak isa ha? Nasyak siya kinbayaran ko. And then, naglakad ko tayo. Tapos niya, God bless, God bless. Merry Christmas, God bless. But my heart, people of God, is full of joy. My heart is full of joy. Why? Because everything that is in you, it is not belongs to you. It's simply, accept it. It's simply, enjoy it. Because it is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. It is wonderful to know, people of God, that the Lord God whom we love and serve is a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. The Lord God is using each one of us to be an expression of His faithfulness and goodness. Last time, nagkato ako sa hospital. Nag-visit lagi ko sa hospital. And then, pagwa ko na sa hospital, pagwa ko sa, sa Don Benito, ginabalan ako sa gino, balik ka dito ka, ang tanang na ara sa kahita mo, ihatag to sa iya. Sometimes the challenge is not easy. Amen? Kapi maga ng balon kang tanang na ara di raha. Hallelujah, ihatag mo. Do isipon mo gid mo. Hallelujah. Do mang isip ka gid ya. Hallelujah. And then nagwa na ko ya sa gid ya sa doon binito. Masakay na ko sa sikat. Kaya do hindi gid ko ya. Kaya balaan ko kung pila tong unod. Hallelujah. But you know, people of God, if you keep on listening to the voice of the Lord, because the Lord God will, will, will use you so that this man, how you will say, thank you, Jesus. You know what I did? Dagun-dagun ko, balik ko dito sa Don Benito. Siling ko ginatag ni Lord sa imo. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You know, God is so great! Amen. So the Lord God says that everyone who thirsts come because God is able to use even a simple nga tawo, biskan pang wala kwarta nga tawo, biskan pang ato nga mga tawo nga ara sa higad. The Lord God is able to use them to be a blessing to you. Church, don't be greedy. Hindi lang kita maging dalok. Kay ang tawo nga dalok Bal ang tanan na kung si sinong ginahambal sa imo perme. Uwak, uwak, makawat. Ay, hindi kali, no? Dalok, dalok, kali, no? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the Lord God is reminding us, people of God, to be generous. Hallelujah. The prophecy, it says, for the, this month of, this month of a proof of your faith, it says, I will put a wall between a faithful and unfaith, in the unfaithful, says God. For those who are faithful in small things, I will give them much, even the blessings that they did not ask. I will give even the blessings that they say they deserve to receive. I will give, says the Lord. These people will represent my generosity, says the Lord. But those who are greedy and unfaithful will suffer hunger and thirst, says God. Do you have no money? As I have said to my people during those days, come and buy milk and honey without a cost. Why do you always worry for the things that are temporal and easily broken? Why do you easily forget the things that I have done before in what I am faithfully doing now? Do you believe that my name is the great I am, covenant keeper and keeper of your soul? For those who rely on me, they will not suffer shame and insult from their enemies. For those who love me, I will connect their cords to my heart, says God, so they can be breathed the breath of, life, of new life, a new hope all the days of the life, says God. Be merciful to those who need mercy. Be generous to those who are in need for what you have done for them. You are doing it for me and you will not lose your eternal reward, says the Lord of hosts. 
says the Lord of hosts. Wonderful Jesus. You know, people of God, when you will become a hands of the Lord, many people will shock. Many people will say, God is great and he is worthy of our worship. Hallelujah. Before people of God, I will proceed to the next April. I will share this story with you. And this is amazing. Happened in Domagueti. And to God be older for the life of Isa Natun Rika Utun. Nagkaon kami, ginlibri niya kami sa restaurant. Namit namit ng restaurant. And then, you know, we introduced ourselves that we came from Iloilo City. And I introduced myself, I'm a pastor. Diba lang utun siya, I'm a pastor. And of course, people, people of God, sometimes they will misunderstood if you will say that you're a pastor. Sometimes in their mind, we're not judging them, but the truth is this. Sometimes in their mind, they say, Ah, kapakilala sila nga pastor, kaya mga yun na sila discount. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that impression came, people of God, to the hearts ng ato niya utod. And then you know what he did? After nga nagbayad sa sang bill, sa tag-iyagid mismo, nagbayad sa sang bill namon. And, and we pray, nag-pray kami sa tag-iya, nag-pray kami sa tag-iya. So pagtapos galing namon pray sa tag-iya, sa, gin, gin, ang impression siya, ba si Imam Balang tag-iya, nag-pray naman kita, ho. Oh. Oh, Ngayon, ito naman discount. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you know, people of God, that sometimes that impression, it, it turned into a beautiful event that gives glory and honor unto the Lord. So what he did is, he paid our bill, and then he put a seed to the hand of the owner. Aside of paying our bills, nagbahatag siya kwarta sa owner. Hambal niya, this is a seed for the fulfillment of your word. Seldom people of God, we experience that. We always asking discount. Right? We always asking discount. But seldom we give seed. Aside of giving people of God or paying our bills, we put the hand, people, we put that seed sa kamot sang mga tag-iya and we declare blessing to them. Chilchans, that is our DNA. Do it now. Amen. Amen. Himuunta na. Amen. A good mag-glorify ang ginoo. Because we are not doing that for ourselves. We are doing that to glorify the Lord. That is a proof that you have a faith. And April, April is a month of power to acquire power to acquire. We have no power in our own. Wala kita yung gahom na aton. Kili-kili power lang. Wala? Sometimes powerful kita. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amo na nga damo na sa mga sa mga ano, sa mga bala. Hallelujah. May damo na lang sa ginabutang nga mga bala. Ang pinakanabi ginang nga bala nga ginabutang natin is ano ganit na? Downy Tawas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you downy, downy, puta mo sa kilikili mo downy. Wala <laughs> pa kanta ni si Jesus, man. Woo! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! If you want to be great, make sure that your life is always connected to the source of power. His name is Jesus. For victory, listen to this, for victory does not come by accident. It is destined. Do you believe that? Ang imo kadalagan, wala na nag-abot. Na aksidente. Nag-abot ina, kagin destinar ina sa imo. Because you are destined for victory. Amen. So kung mag may maghambal sa imo, abi mo wala-wala kagin mo. Wala-wala kagin dyan. Hindi ka mga kabalong basa, hindi ka mga kabalong magsulat. Wala-wala kagin dyan. You know kung ano yung isabad mo? Excuse me, you are talking to a wrong person. Amen. Nagahambal ikaw sa sala nga tawo. Hindi na ako ang inahambalan mo because I am a new creation sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the Lord God is reminding each one of us people of God that it is the Lord who brought you. Hallelujah. Ang Diyos ang muna nagdala sa imo kag nagpasakay sa imo sa isakto nga salakyan nga ang driver balaan nga espiritu kag ara kagapungko sa front seat. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So in 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 7 to 8, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dismayed because of the king of Azariah, nor because of all the army that is with him. For the one, for the one with us is greater than the one with him. 
With him there is only an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people relied on the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Amen. So the Lord God is reminding us of this prophecy when he says, people of God, I am your God. I am your God always ready to forgive, gracious and merciful. I am slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Those who call on my name, I will not forsake, says God. I will rescue you from all calamities that are about to come to the world. My people, my beloved, I have given you power that you have now possessed. Power to pull down the strongholds. Power to heal. Power for miracles, signs and wonders. Power to believe. Power on how to produce wealth. And powerful words to declare and to decree, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Enter into my presence, for the door is always open for you to come in. Acquire everything that is belongs to you, but don't be self-centered. Amen. Don't be self-centered. Don't be selfish. Share what you receive, for you have received it for free, and you have to give it for free, so that your joy will be complete, says God in Matthew 8.10. Amen. Month of May. The month of May is an opportunity for you to excel. Amen. The Lord God has given you this anointing to excel. So when people look down on you, don't be discouraged. Don't allow people's limited understanding to distort the very purpose of God in your existence. When negative situations arise, count it as an opportunity for you to see the beautiful picture attached to your circumstances. For every story that is happening in your life, either bad or good, the author and the best director of your life, who is Jesus, is making a fantastic story out of those unfavorable situations, which will turn into good. So don't be afraid to believe that no matter how strong the wind that is trying to hit you, still there is an opportunity for you to see yourself growing and excel. Amen. So the Lord says in 2 Chronicles 15, 7, But as for you, be strong and don't lose courage, for there is reward for your work. And 2 Chronicles chapter 116, verse 9b, it says, For the eyes of the Lord move to and through, and move to and through throughout the earth, so that he may support those whose heart is completely his. To encourage you, people of God. Hallelujah. The month of June is a month of rest, discover, and recover. Amazing. After the Lord God has given you the proof of your faith, after the Lord God is opening the window for you to excel, what's next? It's time for you to rest. Because when you are resting in the arms of God, you may discover people of God Hallelujah, the abilities. You may discover people of God. Hallelujah, the expertise that the Lord God given to you already. And recover everything that the enemy taken from you. You will recover it with interest. So the Lord God is reminding us before we will end. Reset your mind with the word of God. And start to discover a new and beautiful version of you in Christ Jesus. Don't accept negative declaration sa imong kabuhi. You are created so beautiful. You are created precious. He died for you. He paid people of God. Hallelujah. He paid the debt. Nga wala yaganigin utang. Ikaw na. He rescued you. So you deserve to be blessed and you deserve to be honored. Can you please rise and lift up your hands to God?